As Canadians in Israel wait for flights out of the war-torn country, there is plenty of uncertainty. Among those wondering how they will get home is a group from a B.C. church who is supposed to fly out of Tel Aviv on Sunday. CTV's Michelle Bernaro has more. When the Israel-Gaza war broke out, these 26 people, mostly from Langley Southridge Fellowship Church, were touring the country. Our tour guide is doing a great job explaining things, and then we hear this loud boom. Though some distance from where the violence erupted, they soon learned of the surprise attack by the Canadian-designated terrorist group Hamas. Our guide was telling us there's been an attack uh, out of Gaza uh, on, on, on southern Israel. And so you could tell he was shaken. They ended up heading north where their tour operator said it was safe. Uh, we saw a lot of movements of troops and tanks being hauled around on, on semis as we were driving by, but uh, the sites were open. The group crossed into Jordan Wednesday, but most of them still don't know how they're getting home. They're booked to fly with Air Canada out of Tel Aviv Sunday. It seems to be a little bit crazy uh, with Air Canada right now. And um, we're not sure even if they cancel the flight, if we'll get our money back. So, you know, there's a financial piece, there's a safety piece, uh, and it's just the uncertainty. We just don't know. Chapman says a few people in the group have decided they will not return to Israel, instead paying for costly new flights out of Jordan. Ottawa has said it will begin to airlift Canadian citizens from Tel Aviv by the end of the week, but Chapman isn't sure what that means for them. Even if the government does get planes on the ground, whether we would even qualify to be part of that list. Uh, especially since we've now left Jordan, or we've left Israel. He said the situation has felt surreal at times, and as they try and figure out what's next, Chapman says his thoughts are with those impacted by the war. There's a lot of families that are being torn apart because of this, and that, that at the end of the day, the human cost is the saddest thing. In Michelle Bernoro, CTV News, Vancouver.